This is Morning Edition on 89.5 WNIJ. I'm Dan Clefstad. Today we begin a series on how the growing number of older residents will change our communities. The first baby boomers turn 65 this year, and that will have a dramatic effect on everything from transportation to health care. That's according to Randy Blankenhorn. He's the executive director of the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning. The agency offers a model for how communities can develop efficiently and sustainably. Blankenhorn says an older population will increase demand for public transportation and many other amenities traditionally found in larger cities. This doesn't mean that everybody should live in Chicago. And it doesn't mean people should sell their single-family homes and move into condos. Instead, Blankenhorn says, smaller communities can easily adapt to meet the needs of an older population. It means that we can build these kind of centers in many of our suburban locations and make our downtowns attractive, make them a place where people want to live, a place where people want to stay, and, and really think about it from a regional perspective about how to have more opportunities uh, for our seniors. Many people listening to us live in small towns in rural areas. As in Chicago and the suburbs, many of them are baby boomers, but they don't have the same access to mass transit or they simply choose to drive. What message do you have for these folks who want to stay in their communities? Small towns have a lot to offer, and we need to be able to provide seniors a reason and the ability to stay in those communities if that's what they choose to do. That means we've got to think about you know, senior transportation services. Uh, we've got to think about how we provide more community-based health care uh, so that people don't have to go to the major sub-regional hospital uh, that they've got doctors in their community. And I think those are the things that small towns have to focus on because they're a huge part of the region and the economy of the region and what makes this region special. Uh, so we need to make our, our small towns and our smaller communities uh, accessible to a grain population. More older residents means fewer people who are starting their careers or who are in mid-career. How does a changing workforce fit in with your vision of community development? Well, it means a couple of things. Number one is we lose decades of experience when our, you know, when our older workers walk out the door, from professional people to managers to, to just our, our everyday hardworking uh, residents. We lose a lot. And so how do we think about training for a new workforce? Uh, how do you think about a workforce that's younger today that is going to change careers five, six, seven times? And how do we make sure they're prepared for those opportunities? I think it's going to take a lot of work from all of our perspective to really ameliorate the problem we have with seniors walking out the door and with younger people who are wanting a different kind of career experience. Mr. Blankenhorn, if you don't mind my asking, how old are you? Yeah, I am 52. So you have a while to go before retirement, but what would you like from the community where you decide to live after retirement? Yeah, I think that one of the things that I would like as I grow over older is to think that when I retire from this job or the next job or whatever it is, that I still have value in the workplace. Uh, I think that we're looking at how seniors are embracing volunteering, uh, giving back to their communities, uh, and I want I want our policymakers, our elected officials, and our business community, for that matter, to grab the value that seniors are bringing to the table and, and to continue to use it. Uh, most of our seniors, as they retire, are still looking for something to do. It's not all about fishing and playing golf. Uh, and so how do, we, how do we make sure that what they're bringing to the table is utilized in their communities? When I look for what I think about for my retirement, uh, I want to be able to get around easily. I don't want to have to, to drive in traffic. Uh, I want to be able to walk to the store, whether I live in a big city or in a small town. Uh, I want something that's convenient. I, I honestly don't want to spend, you know, two afternoons a week mowing my lawn. And, you know, I want, I want to simplify my life. And I think that's what a lot of seniors are looking at. Randy Blankenhorn is the executive director of the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning. Later in this series, we'll check in with hospitals to see how prepared they are for a larger number of older patients. Tomorrow, we'll look at how rural areas are meeting the growing demand for public transportation. I'm Dan Clefstad, WNIJ News.